Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel on this rather damp day down at Cobbs Key. We are here to have a look at this Quicksilver Activa 855. I can't say I've seen one of these before. I'm quite impressed with it, having had a look around. Nice side deck, lovely opening cockpit saloon door, lots of glazing on board, very, very flexible cockpit area. And as you can see, she's a very, very beamy boat. I'm gonna jump quickly on board because it started to rain. But what's really clever about this boat is the flexible saloon, or oh sorry, cockpit area. But to start with, it's a decent size anyway. You can obviously, should you want to, fill this whole area in with cushions and I'll drop in a picture to show you what that looks like. Here we have the lazarette and there's a two part section to the engine bay. So we'll look at this section first, but the whole point of this block of seating across the back here is as you can imagine, you can slide it forwards lock it into these points here and here and have an extended bathing platform or slide it back as it is at the moment and have maximum cockpit it's really really easy to do as i'm going to demonstrate for you here i'm going to drop that cushion out there lift out the infill section there lift up the two pins in here one that side and one on that side grab hold of the handle roll it forward and then you would, I'm not going to lock it back in there. And if you take a look back, that then gives you a lot more bathing platform. Gives you a much bigger bathing platform. I'll take a step back off here. You can see you've then got all of that entertaining space, water sports space, it's really quite neat. Cleats on both sides, and also which is really, really useful is fuel fillers on both sides as well. In fact, while we're here, have a quick look at the back of the engine so it's weird having two engine hatches but it does mean you can access the rear of the engine bay so things like the back of the outdrive leg the hydraulics the steering hydraulic pumps obviously batteries there so that's the back of the engine bay she comes this particular one comes with a Mer Cruiser 300 horsepower which is driven by a Volkswagen TDI engine which is really nice so if I hop back on board Grab hold of that, give it a push back, and then lock it back in place, like so. And then on that side, he says, there we go. Drop the infill cushion back in, and then there you have Back to normal cockpit seating as you can see it's now back to normal cockpit there's legs here take the dining table from inside drop it out here but there is a separate dining table and as you probably imagine underneath here because this is a box there's tons of storage and there you go there's a little feet for the table options and actually let's have a quick peek whilst we're here at the lazarette There you go. Water tank storage there. Looks like fuel tank under this section here and a bit of extra storage and some water pumps over on the port side. Quite nice because it's all insulated and it all comes on the hydraulic gas rams. Drop that back down. Over on this side you have a little locker which gives you fuel shutoff valve, trip for the windlass, trips for all the other bits and pieces 12 volt related, waste pump, quite nice as well is this boat comes with underwater lights and then you've got your master battery voltage switch as you can see over here there is little storage for gas lockers and your incoming 240 volt and he's chucking it down today I'm sure you can imagine really nice sunken side deck on this side with a couple of steps up it does stop raining we'll have a look at the end large sliding doors that run right the way across and close this entire saloon area off but as you can see it's really really nice we'll start on the starboard side is the galley area so as you can see there's a Waco fridge there down here we have a combination microwave a couple of little drawers in here storage in there I should say and up under here is the double burner gas hob 
and the sink with mixer tap and as you can probably have already spotted nice TV up on the wall so sticking with the flexibility of this boat if you look at the dining area over here to start with we have a nice large solid wood table that folds out give you a bit more dining space like so that will then also drop down as you would expect and make this entire area a large decent sized double berth I'll drop in pictures so you can see how that works but also very very cleverly you'll notice there's a track in the floor here so you can lift those pins up very much like we did at the back slide that seat this to this position take the backrest out here and swap it for a different backrest that fits into here change the cushion round and you can make that a forward facing seat so you can effectively then have I move over here and I will drop this in you have this section here with that forward facing seat that becomes a forward facing seat move further back and everyone can get a seat facing forward as you're going along which is really really nice so whilst we're this side as you can see here we have quite surprisingly for a vessel of this size reverse cycle air conditioning so it'll heat and it'll cool also you'll obviously have noticed this massive vast sunroof which quite logically we have shut today because it is chucking it down but you'll also notice the amount of glass and how open this entire area feels and how light it is on a pretty gloomy day in October the other nice thing here if we jump over to the side is you'll notice that's that side door we looked at from outside quick pop under the helm seat takes us to the 240 volt so in here you can see at the top there is the fusion stereo there's a speaker selector and then all the trips for the 240 volt neat little helm seat with the uh, bolster as you would expect it there's also if I take a step down here a little step here that looks to fold down like so and that gives you the ability if you want to to steer standing up and have a really good view forwards i'm just going to put that back for the moment going back to the side door you it's quite neat because obviously you can slide it open and gain instant access to the side cleat which is down here or run yourself aft or forward depending on the mooring options you want but also you'll notice there's a little clicker in here so you can actually locate it in a slightly vented position so if it's a really nice then you want to get some air blasting through and out the back or open the sunroof at the top you can do but because it's rather grotty we'll shut that up and drop it off so the helm seat moves backwards forwards as well which is really useful conventional steering wheel and then you've got the speedo rpm simrad navigator trim tabs which is really great electric uh, anchor winch which is really useful and then bow thruster which we all love especially on a single engine boat usual selection of uh, carling switches conventional throttle and then this little chap down here is the joystick controller for the spotlight that lives up on the hard top up here we have then the cobra vhf radio and massive window with two wipers and also quite neat it comes with window washers as well ventilating window on the side there and then a couple of steps over here takes us to the forward cabins so dead ahead we have a the master berth there's a twin berth on the side here and on the starboard side is the head so let's have a quick peek in the heads to start with so there you go as you would imagine pretty conventional jab scope pump action loo with a little disinfectant pump built into it venting window mirror with storage behind it mixer tap and shower and then just a bit of extra storage in there so very functioning actually there? let's have a quick peek is that headroom in there yeah there you go look plenty of plenty of headroom in there so if i come out of there shut that door and then we go to the port side cabin in here we have the second cabin little seat down here as you can see as you come in little wardrobe in there quite nice and light in here as well because there's that very large overhead window that feeds light into the windscreen 
whole side windows there with an opening vent and then a very very large double berth in here as you can see it's absolutely masked with all the infill cushions for the aft section for the dinette I don't know how well you can see in this light but all the way back there there's a couple of very large storage lockers as well and right at the back here we have a vent just up there for the air conditioning and heating so that's the uh, saloon or under four underfloor cabin and then if we take a step forward and slide this rather clever sliding pocket door back into its slot you can see here we have the four cabin or master cabin as it would be so obviously there's a, a compromise with everything so whilst at the moment we have floor space which enables you to walk into the bed go around to either side of the bed like so gain access by standing in here and there is headroom in, in this section to the wardrobe with its own little window and fender storage what is clever is you'll notice there's a large cushion over here so this cushion effectively the right way around fills in the middle of the bed so what you can do is you grab hold of the bed here pull the bed this way which obviously then loses you a bit of floor space and then drop that cushion into the middle of the bed where the slot appears and that then gives you a, an over six foot full-size double berth as you can see it's nice and bright in here as well as with the rest of the boat with those hot side windows there's a window hatch here which then you can cover over at night with this cover and all the way forward we've got a conventional escape hatch ventilation hatch with the fly screen over it so there you go so that's the fore cabin that's the heads that's the side cabin little illuminated steps up here so that is a quicksilver activa 855 now i hope you've enjoyed the video do please like and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you next time around thank you very much for watching